Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do a barbecue baked bean. And this is just a simple recipe. It takes me back to being a kid. We always had baked beans on the pit beside the chicken, the ribs, whatever we were having on the grill. You could bet there was gonna be some baked beans to go with it. And I'm gonna show you my easy recipe. Let's get to cooking. So for these baked beans, we're starting off with the old school can of pork and beans. And I don't care what brand you use. We always had Showboat in my house as a kid. You could use whatever. I've got five cans in a half pan here that we just drained as best we could to get all the juice off because we're gonna add the sauce and the flavors back to them. Now to this pan of beans, I've got a Vidalia onion. And this is just a medium sized sweet onion. You wanna dice it up really, really fine. And it's really gonna cook down in these beans and give it a lot of good flavor. You gotta have some sweetness in these beans. So I've got a cup of light brown sugar firmly packed and we're just going to start mixing this around a little bit incorporating that brown sugar now we're going to add a little bit of worcestershire sauce and then i've got some yellow mustard and we've got half a cup of ketchup so now we're really going to add some barbecue flavor to our pan of beans and i'm using a cup of barbecue sauce and i'm just using whatever's on sale you don't have to use the expensive stuff save that for eating on sandwiches or later with the chicken we're cooking we're just trying to get some barbecue flavors in these beans and the cheap stuff does just fine the last thing that we're gonna add to our beans is some dry rub. And I'm just using my Keller Hogs D Barbecue Rub. You could use your favorite blend here. Now I'm just making sure everything's combined. We're ready to get this pan of beans on the pit. So I got my offset pit fired up. We're gonna run it today about 275 degrees and I'm just sticking the beans kind of right in the middle. They're not too close to the firebox. I just wanna get some good heat in them. All right, now we're just gonna close the pit and let these beans smoke and come up to temperature. They're already fully cooked, so it really doesn't matter about the temp we have them on. It could be 250, it could be 350. We're just cooking them till the onions are tender, till they give us all that flavor, till the beans thicken up, they get some smoke on them, and they're gonna be fantastic. I'll show you what they look like here in a little bit. All right, our barbecue baked beans have been cooking about two hours and 45 minutes, and I know they're done. I mean, they've got that beautiful color on top. You can tell they've got some smoke to them. The sauce is thickened up. The onions have softened. And I'm gonna call them done. So I'm gonna take them up on a sheet pan. We're gonna go back to the cutting board because I wanna try these. All right, I know these beans are good and hot. I'm gonna get out some in a bowl here. Check them out. I mean, they've thickened up nice. You can still see the beans, they're not just mush. And that's the important part. If you're cooking baked beans, you don't want to cook them until they're all mush. You still want there to be some integrity to it. The sauce is thickened up, the onions are softened, and I'm ready to try them. So let's go in and just see how hot they are. But I want to get some onion. I want to get some of the beans, some of the sauce, all that in one bite. I'm going to blow it a little bit because I know it's hot. Mm. Oh, that's my childhood right there. These are some good eating beans. Taste the smoke in them. That post oak wood I was using today gives them a nice flavor. Still got a lot of good texture. Tender, the onions meld right in with it. Mm. Some barbecue baked beans at its finest. Y'all gotta try this one. Hey, thanks for checking out our video today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And at the end of the week, me and Shell wrap it all up with our podcast. We'll see y'all next time. Be sounding off tonight, Shell. <laughs> Eating these good old beans.